Hi, and welcome to week four of the Review Times Chalk Talk, along with Andy Wolf. I am Michael Burwell. Andy, uh, we'll start off with the Redmen, who kind of got yeah. delayed last week. Uh, you know, Friday night, some yeah. storms rolled through the area, so the much-anticipated Fall Story of Hopewell game was pushed back to yeah. fr- uh, Saturday night. And uh, I think uh, it was kind of what we expected. You know, yeah. Fall Story is a pretty experienced team. They've got a good senior class uh, that they can rely on, and Hopewell's got a lot of youngsters playing, yeah. and they're still kind of learning. And Fall Story came away with a big 36 to nothing win and to improve yeah. the 2-1. and one. A lot of hype for this game. and There were a, lot, a couple of people I saw on Twitter that were disappointed. They didn't get to play it Friday night, but they still got it in. They kind of still went to how – According to how we thought it would go, of course, uh, I think Kyle Trillio just admitted that, you know, we just have a lot of young kids right now. They don't really have a large senior class. I think they have a class of like four seniors for mm-hmm. Division Six school versus Fostoria, a team that has 15 seniors for a Division right. Four school that kind of explains why it was a little lopsided in there. Right, right, for sure. And uh, so, you know, Faustoria has only allowed, I think, six points the last two weeks. A couple of the defense has been playing well, but that defense is really going to be tested this week. uh, Eastwood Eastwood comes to town. the real deal. They really are. They've got some stud running backs. Jaden Rayford's going to the University of Toledo. Yeah, he's real good. Uh, That's going to be – that'll be a good one. Uh, I think – I don't know. <laughs> I've talked to Kidwell. I've covered this game in the past. I actually saw Jaden Rayford as a freshman, and he had one of those games that you know this kid's going to be good down the line, and of course he's good. He helped Eastwood get to the state title game a couple of years ago as a sophomore. Um, last year I think they might have been about 6-4, and four, had a little bit of a down year. But this year, a lot of linemen back, and they were my pick to win the NBC. Also, Kidwell just said is it might be a little bit of a mental thing with Eastwood. He said a couple of years ago where Eastwood's the – perennial power they kind of have that aura of you, you want to win against Eastwood and Fostoria wants to close that gap that competitive gap and be up there with the NBC teams that they were competitive the past couple of years but last two years the second half is they've kind of fallen off and not being able to finish the job mm-hmm, mm-hmm. you got to expect you know if Fostoria can just stay in this game and at least just give themselves a chance I think that'd just be huge for them yeah so and uh, speaking of Hopewell Loudon, they get Lakota this week. Yes. Uh, Lakota's coming off their first win of the year, twenty-one, I believe, twenty-one eight over Woodmore on yeah. Saturday. That game was also postponed from Friday's uh, stormy weather. Uh, you know, a couple area teams. I mean, Hopewell obviously trying to get off the Schneid mm-hmm. and, and get that first win, but boy, they they've struggled offensively. Yeah. Lakota. They're you gonna, know, they're they're definitely going to get some wins as well. I think uh, last week's win was just just to get the, some confidence going for yeah. them was big. Yeah, I noticed that Trevor Franks, who's playing running back all last year, even had to attempt a few passes. So I believe uh, they didn't have Jay Matz last week, but Trevor Franks is still kind of a horse of running back and. That young Chieftain's defense is kind of going to be really, really tested by Franks this week. Mm-hmm, for sure. And another interesting game on local schedule, yeah. uh, Elmwood and Genoa. So it's at Genoa, mm-hmm. NBC play. Genoa is the defending league champs, yep. and uh, they made a nice run in the in the playoffs last year, but they are 0-3 this year. They've uh, they've had a couple tough losses. I think, you know, they lost. I mean, everyone loses key players to graduation, right. but they've had – they've played some pretty good teams to start the year. A couple very good teams, uh, yeah. Does – does Elmwood have a chance to hang around? You have to feel like Elmwood's feeling pretty confident. They they might have feel like they let one slip away. They were leading Northwood last week, which if you finish off Northwood, you're 3-0 and and you have a little bit more confidence. But they've still proven that they can win a couple close games early on. But a win against Genoa would be probably sweeter than anything they've probably tasted in the past couple of years. I know Genoa is down and Elmwood is up, and that could probably still lead to a pretty competitive game. Right, for sure. That would be an absolutely – enormous program win for yeah. Elmwood. A couple other games on the on the schedule this weekend. Riverdale's at Van Buren. Van Lewis Arcadia. That's love gonna that, you gotta game love that rivalry. Week. Oh for sure. Definitely a good game. So all right, that'll wrap it up for uh this week of Review Times Chalk Talk.